Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a little project. I did a video on my matchbook notebooks where I used this kind of a brad to for the closure. And a couple people asked where I got them and unfortunately they're so old I only have two left. So, um, but when I was, I was kind of lamenting myself when I was pulling them out for the project I thought, darn I only got a couple left I really wish we could still find these. And I think they were making memories or like maybe girls papery, I don't remember. Anyways, I made all these cabochons uh, a few years ago when everybody was making cabochons. And so I thought, you know what, you could really just make your own. So I did. And I filmed it, but the whole time I'm doing it, my idiotic camera was out of focus. So I've got the back end of showing you my end results of these. Um, these two are the ones that are either girls papery or making memories. And then these are all the ones that I made. So I'm just going to quick show you the first part of it that got fuzzy. And I think instead of making, you know, like I used all kinds of brads for these. Like here's a, like the rounded head ones. And these aren't coming off. And I used um, E6000. My suggestion to you would be, if you're going to use E6000, use a flat thing like that. Because I was like, you know those when they spin paper plates on a stick? That's what I was doing for about a minute with these. Because it was sliding off. So what you could do is put a little dab of hot glue and then the E6000 in the hot and put your cabochon on. And then the hot glue will help keep that where you want it to be. Now for the cabochons, this is just Sculpey polymer clay. And I bought these, this mold and this mold. And I've got another one, this one. I bought these on Etsy. But I think you can either go to Etsy or AliExpress and just look up silicone flower molds because they're using these um, for cake decorating a lot now. So I also made these little, these are just handmade that I did. There's no, um, let's see. There. There's no um, mold for it. Now look at, see it's all, there. That's what happened last time. I didn't focus it back to this. So, anyways, here's we here's what here's what we got to do. Just put a little blob of glue, and you don't need a lot. Okay, and then. But see, this is where you could put just a teeny bit of hot glue to um, help so that you don't have to play, spin the plates. I think I'm going to do this. But they turned out cute. And the, like I said, you can do any brads. This is one where it had a little thing in it. Wait, that's the store-bought one. Never mind. Where did it go? See, there's the brown ones. There was one that had... Oh, I don't know. Probably this last one. Nope. Well, oh. maybe I didn't... Anyways, so there's that, and then, see, so you want to kind of keep putting that on there. Then what I did is I, um, you, there's, there's Sculpey Clay Glaze. That's what I put on these. 
so they're a bit shiny. Um, but these I just put stickles on. So I show, I show that I'm doing that at the back end of this video. So that's all there is to it. They're so simple and easy and they make really really pretty um, closures for the matchbooks or any of those um, coin envelope type things. So um, now I will show you the rest of my video. Alright so they are all dry. I went and had lunch and did some errands and whatnot. So um, now I'm going to put stickles on. You don't have to, you could use all, like this is um, diamond stickles. Alright, see ya! This is diamond stickles and that's like, if you just had that one you'd be fine. But of course I've got, oops, all different colors. So I'm just going to put a little here. And then kind of just get the glitter everywhere. And let that dry. I think these will be pretty. You don't have to stickleize them. Like that one I'm not going to. I've already, had, when I made these, some of them I put, um, like there's a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, uh, it's like a polymer glaze, or it's a glaze for polymer clay. That's all that was. So I did that on some of them. And I think that's downstairs in my art layer storage. Just gonna clean this off. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I almost think storing them this way it gets in the cap on some of them. So now I'll do a little blue. This is waterfall. This was cotton candy. I use that one a lot. Pretty. Not in there. A little glitter doesn't fix. Just yellow. So this and uh, is an easy way to get that cute Brad look. And like I said, you can. I found my cabochon molds on Etsy. But I think, you know, you can still find them there. I think plaid, or, you know, Mod Podge and plaid, I think they have little molds out now. Martha Stewart had some. And you obviously can go to um, AliExpress and get some. I got some silicone molds um, for doilies recently. And these are fun to make. I mean, I just sat uh, watching TV one afternoon and made dozens and dozens. Or I'm sure you could buy some of these. There. Get 
skin that's diamond. I just wiped my handful of gooey stickles on my face. So there we have some pretty, pretty, pretty brad, pretty. And these, you can just use some old brads that, like I did, there's some colors that I probably wouldn't use or like the little, um, that one with the heart on, I just wouldn't use it, I don't think. Even if you're going to use them. But I do see that I think the flatter ones work better, but these are on here to stay. So I hope you try it out. And thank you to the subbies who asked about it because I thought, well, why not just do a tutorial so they can make their own. They are pretty. And here again, that's how I used it. Thanks for watching. Bye.